Hey guys, so this is the NDZR, a pair of India monitors from ND Audio. Now I have reviewed ND Audio India monitors in my channel before, you can check them out. And I have to say that out of all those in-ear monitors from ND Audio, the ZR is my current favorite. But before we get into that, let's get the unboxing out of the way. So the ND ZR comes in a eco-friendly packaging and by that I mean it's pretty bare bones, nothing fancy at all. Sliding off the outer cover, you get some paperwork, few pairs of silicon ear tips of various sizes. You get the oxygen-free copper silver plated cable that has two pin connectors on one end, a 3.5mm jack on the other. And the version I have comes with an inbuilt microphone with a multifunction control button. And of course you get the ND ZR in your monitors themselves. Okay, now let's talk about the specs of the ND ZR. So these pack a single 10mm dynamic driver inside and it's got an impedance of 32 ohm. So once again, although these would be categorized as low impedance in your monitors, as always, I would highly suggest that you do invest in a portable DAC, nothing too fancy or expensive, just something that can power these and let them perform to their full potential so that you get the best possible audio quality that they can provide. And as always, I link the one that I personally use in the description below. Now, in terms of the appearance of the NDZR, I have to say these look pretty slick. I am a fan of the faceplate. It's got this splattered design inside and the ZR logo in gold looks really, really nice. As always, I am a fan of the transparent design where you can actually see the innards of this in-ear monitor. You can actually see the dynamic driver. And I am always a fan of these transparent designs. Now, as for the build quality, it is as with any in your monitor and its price range. It's made of medical grade resin, very smooth, no jagged edges, absolutely no discomfort in the ear, and there is even no ear fatigue for long listening sessions. Okay, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about the main criteria, which is the audio quality. Now, I judge in your monitors based on how they produce the three main frequencies that broadly make up any sound that you hear. The highs, the mids, and the lows. The highs or the treble response where the really sharp sounding instruments are, the mids where the vocals are and the low end or the bass response. Okay, starting off with the higher frequencies or the treble response, after listening to a ton of songs and different genre of music, what I found was that the high frequencies are very well detailed and have got a very smooth DK. String instruments sound very natural and there is no added sharpness or clarity, so they're at that sweet spot where they maintain or retain a lot of technicality, a lot of the nuances, while sounding very natural. Now, in general, I didn't notice any sort of tinny rendition or sibilance. However, without any sort of tweaking to the EQ, crowds, where the sound of the crowds or the cheers are muffled, they might sound a bit sibilant. But that is only when I'm talking about crowds in live recordings. But in general, when you're listening to recorded music or songs, there was no siblings as such. Another impressive thing was the separation from the mid frequencies or the vocals. So there was absolutely no intermingling or interference with the vocals or the mid frequencies. There was very good separation even between the instruments that are just in the higher frequency range. They had very nice imaging and the technicality was also very impressive. Now talking about the mid frequencies where the vocals are, again, for the most part, the mid frequency sounded very well detailed where vocals sounded natural and there was very good separation from the higher frequencies as well as the low end. So there was no intermingling or muffling of the sound by any of these frequencies getting mixed with one another. So they all maintain their separate lanes. Vocals for the most part sounded very natural. They had the natural tonality. The only thing I found missing was that even though they are separate, there was a bit of lack in depth. So they don't sound hollow by any means, nor do they sound artificially brightened, but a bit more depth to the vocals would have made it sound more immersive and even more rich. So this is again me being very, very harsh. In general, there was very good separation, even in the mid frequencies and even string instruments that fell into the mid frequency range were beautifully rendered. The stroke of guitars was sounding very, very well detailed and natural. So very impressive, very nice separation and imaging and no intermingling with the low end. So the vocal response for the most part sounded very, very good. Now talking about the low end or the bass response. Now, without any sort of EQ, the low end or the bass response of the NDZR sounds very, very pure. It doesn't give you any overwhelming rendition of the low end. So although it is mid bass heavy, 
So yes, you do get the thump, you do get the 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 impact of the mid bass slam, and sometimes. In a very subtle way, you'll also get the rumble of the sub lows. It's it's going to give you a very well-rounded, uh, pure bass response where it's just adequate, and it's not going to be catered to a bass head. So a bass head will find it to be a little less impactful. So if you're a purist who likes a very sweet, balanced sound, well then the bass is going to complement that and give you just enough to enjoy your music in a very natural way. However, because these are very well capable of producing the low end, you can definitely increase the impact of the mid bass slam and get a bit of the sub low rumble. So for that, I would suggest what I did at least was to uh, set the EQ to rock and that really brings out that rumble. The mid bass slam gets very, very punchy and it takes it to I think maybe two or three notches above what it usually gives you outside the box. So and the sound sounds much more immersive and the bass sounds much more impactful. So just something you can try out in case you are craving for more bass. But if you're a purist and you just want the accurate rendition of the bass response, well then what it gives you right outside the box is a very pure and pleasant listening experience. Now just to summarize, the NDZR of all the NDIMs that I've reviewed in the past, this is my favorite. It sounds the, the best well-rounded sound signature where I would say for any average listener, I can definitely recommend this as a starting point. It's not expensive, it's built really well, it's super comfortable and the sound is beyond impressive for its price point. Even for gamers, because it's got quite a wide soundstage where you can actually visualize where the instruments are coming from, this will do a very good job for you to recognize where footsteps are coming from, where the gunshots are being fired from, because those play a role. So even for gamers, the NDZR could be a very good option. Considering its build quality, it's overall very impressive and very much above average sound quality, the NDZR is an absolute win in my book and it's something I can definitely recommend someone who's looking into just getting into in-ear monitors or someone who just wants to get another pair and if you are in that budget of $25 or around uh, 18 or 1900 rupees the NDZR is something you can definitely check out. So there you have it guys that was my review of the NDZR in-ear monitors if you have any other questions regarding this or any other in-ear monitor let me know in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them. As always, the link to this will be in the description below. You can check it out from there. And if you use that link to make your purchase, you will be helping me run this channel and I can produce more such high quality and helpful content just for you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video. And as always, I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.